guys welcome back again to another fragrance review I'm your host Rob and uh, guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel guys uh, right in the bottom uh, you know please subscribe support my channel uh, let me know what you guys uh, think about what I'm doing if you guys uh, have any questions anything you guys want to ask me just put it right down there and uh, I'll, I'll try to answer you guys as soon as possible and um, I want to thank you guys that have already subscribed in advance I want to thank you so much. Thanks for supporting me. And um, I'm going to try to bring uh, at least one video every week. Uh, something interesting. Maybe something new. Maybe something old. Maybe something you guys already heard of or not. Uh, but hopefully anything that I'm bringing uh, to you guys, you guys are enjoying. And um, also, turn on that bell so you guys get the notification when a new video comes up. So, yeah. So, uh, today we're going to be uh, visiting the house of... Uh, 1821 men made this is a pretty underrated house and uh, they specialize in uh, men's uh, grooming products uh, mainly hair so uh, they have a shampoo they have a hairsprays they have uh, uh, other hair products and um, most of the stuff they sell um, uh, for the fragrance I'm gonna be bringing up uh, uh, do uh, they do carry uh, mashing uh, uh, shampoos and stuff and hairsprays that do match the smell of this fragrance and uh, uh, without any further ado uh, we're going to be reviewing uh, uh, Sweet Tobacco from 1821 Men Made. This is the presentation here of the box. There's a stick uh, almost like a almost looks like a stamp style sticker. Uh, really nice box. I like it. It has kind of like an antique look. There's some information there as well. There's uh, another sticker there. I don't know if they all come uh, with the same sticker. Uh, I'm a bargain shopper. I found this uh, through eBay for about $70 a few months back when the hype was up for uh, this uh, fragrance. Uh, so they're up to $80 right now. Uh, so this is the presentation of the bottle. Really nice. You can see the sweet tobacco in the front, 1821. There's the bottom of the bottle here. Some information of the company. Uh, I believe there's a batch code there. Uh, no, there isn't a batch code, but this is a uh, perfume, by the way. And uh, this is the cap here. It's a plastic cap. Looks heavy, but it's not. Uh, nice sprayer there. And this is a pretty heavy bottle. Pretty nice. Well constructed. I, I, I like the presentation of this. The simplicity and the elegance is really nice. Uh, so, yeah. 1821 sweet tobacco. Let's do a spray on this. Really nice sprayer. Uh, it misses out, which is uh, something uh, I really like on sprayers. I love the, the mist because uh, it, it uh, uh, you know, it goes on you really nice. You don't need to spray so much, especially with the potency of this one. I haven't gotten to that yet, but we're going to get to that soon. Uh, so the year this was released, this was released in uh, 2016. And it's actually the only fragrance that the, this company has came up with. And I hope they come up with more. And uh, this is the only fragrance they come up with. It's sweet tobacco. Really nice fragrance. Beautiful fragrance. Uh, the notes on this. Can I get to the notes right now? I'm going to get it right off my laptop because I don't have that. did not memorize anything. But uh, the notes. And this is uh, straight from the uh, 1821 Sweet Tobacco website. The notes on this are citrus, spicy saffron, creamy tonka, sweet vanilla, manuka honey, exotic fruits, fine wine, pottery musk, and warm woods. So what do I get from this? I get a, a prominent red wine. Really nice. Man, this, this is a nice one. This is a, it's a, it's a sweet, it's a sweet honey really uh, sweet honey and it's it, the honey uh, uh, you know honey as in the honey from the honeycomb is the not the not so much of the liquid one and it's and it's the organic honey the the really uh, 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 the purest of the honey the, uh, and it's very nice it's got that uh, waxy uh, honey smell to it and it's got a really nice wine note uh, Really nice red wine note. There's some berries in there, and I mean not just uh, the really dark ones. You know, the really dark berries, nothing bright. Uh, but there's a freshness to it and a woody aspect to it that's uh, 
makes it uh, really nice and, 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 and uh, wearable, really, really inviting. I love the smell of this and uh, I'm telling you right now, this is going to get you compliments. This is going to get you noticed. Very unique and um, and it's probably one of my one of my favorite releases of 2016 uh, as of now. Uh, there are some newer stuff that has come came out and uh, you know summer stuff and uh, more of a fall stuff and you know other stuff. But this is probably one of my favorites so far of the year 2016. With that being left in the past, of course, we're in 2017. So. So let's get to uh, to who will wear this. Uh, who will wear this? Uh, anyone in the uh, range, uh, the ages of 20 plus, 20 plus uh, college. Uh, it's, it's a very elegant smell, uh, very warming. Uh, there's that there's that powdery in the wood in the wood and the wine. So it's it's definitely on a short scent. And it's, uh, it has a sweetness to it that's, uh, uh, that gives it that edge, that kind of like a, a, a playful edge. And uh, somebody, uh, you know, you can go, uh, you, can wear, you can wear this casually, uh, you can wear this dressy, dressed up, dressed down, it doesn't matter. Uh, uh, and um, excellent. I will rate this in, in, in that genre, I would, I would say uh, one out of five, I say five. Uh, for uh, for occasions in style, so uh, where where we wear this? Uh, what weather? I will wear this uh, mainly spring, fall, and winter. But mainly fall and winter. Why? Because it's, it's the projection and, and the and the monstrosity of this bad boy is amazing, and this is something that will definitely uh, uh, do well in in those seasons. Uh, probably go a little lighter in the spring, a little heavier as uh, time goes by, you know, uh, fall, winter. And uh, projection of this. Projection is monstrous. You're going to get easily uh, over five feet of projection within the first uh, three, three, to, uh, three to four hours. And uh, after that, it becomes a little close, but it stays within that within that. Uh, uh, Two feet range, uh, uh, and it and it does great on that. Uh, it's gonna get you noticed. It's gonna pop. People are gonna notice you. People are gonna love the smell on you. Super inviting. This is a, definitely a great uh, 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 date date scent. Uh, uh, you wanna you wanna impress somebody? You wear this. You wanna you wanna get the compliments? You you're gonna wear this. Uh, Wife approves of this 100%. This is so um, romantic, so so uh, well received by uh, anybody you, you ask. Like if you ask anybody, they're gonna they're gonna tell you you smell amazing. You, you smell great. I love it. And uh, like I said, any occasion. Um, there's some comparison. Some people compare it to uh, 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 Tom Ford uh, Tobacco Banel. Uh, there's some nuances there. Uh, I think there's more in the Mugler Pure Havan, the honey note, but that's more that has more of a prominent uh, uh, tobacco note, uh, vanilla. This has a more uh, a wine honey uh, prominent note. Uh, uh, longevity on this, you're easily going to get uh, 12 plus hours in this. Uh, uh, monstrous, uh, beautiful, unclosed. It's gonna it's gonna last uh, well over two days if you don't wash it. Uh, sprays on this. I go springtime, I will go two sprays, probably one in the chest, one in the hair. Uh, springtime, bring it up a notch for one more spray. Wintertime, I'll probably go four hair, chest, uh, both my pulse points, and I'm set. Uh, my final thoughts, highly recommend it. You want something unique, you want something that, uh, that stands out in your collection for the fall, uh, spring, winter time, something that is a beautiful, great inviting scent for uh, uh, that guy that wants to be uh, the unique guy or uh, uh, first impression. This is this is this is it. This is uh, this will be right up your alley. And um, if you're a collector and you don't have this, uh, you know you 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 know you're you're missing out. You 
you got to step up your game and you got to get this because look around and uh, uh, see the reviews on this. And uh, niche quality, 100%. This thing started at 30 bucks, went up to 80 bucks for a good reason. And I don't think it's because the, I think it was one because of the, it was low in stock, but highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. If this was $200 and I had smelled it, I'd buy it. Well worth it. Uh, get it while you can. If you can find it, get it. Guys, don't forget to subscribe and uh, support my channel. Thanks for tuning in. I will bring him back uh, some more reviews real soon, guys. Thank you. Have a good night or a good day or a good morning. Muchas gracias.